Hey everybody, welcome to our series, Why Faith Attracts Heaven. Today we're going to dig into Matthew chapter 8, verses 5 through 13. Most of you know this story. This is the story of the Roman officer. Now that's the first point, it's a Roman officer, so he is not Jewish, and Jesus initially says that he came for his people, the Jews, but this is a Roman officer, and what the Roman officer does is in uh, chapter 8, verse 8, so 8-8, eight, eight, the officer says to Jesus, Lord, I'm not worthy to have you come into my home. Just say the word from where you are, and my servant will be healed. I know this because I am under the authority of my superior officers, and I have authority over my soldiers, etc., etc. You've probably heard the story. The point being, the officer is the only one that I'm aware of up to this point, maybe ever in the Gospels, that says, uh, look, you know, I know how it works. I'm, I'm in charge of people here that we can visibly see on earth. And you being the son of God, I mean, he, he realized that Jesus was this greater being. I believe he realized that Jesus is God. Uh, it, you are in charge of the unseen things, you know, and you can, you can say to something from far away, hey, be done, and it will be done at your command. And Jesus, it says in verse 10, when he heard this, was amazed. And turning to those who were following, he said, I tell you the truth, I haven't seen faith like this in all of Israel. And then it goes on to say in verse 13, Jesus tells the Roman officer, go back home. Because you have believed, it has happened. Because you have believed, it has happened. Here's what I think is really unique in this story. It's the uniqueness of the Roman officer's faith. And, what, and why does faith attract heaven? I believe one reason that we can learn in this, in this story is that God is looking across all the earth. And we know, I don't remember where it is in the Old Testament, but it says the eyes of the Lord search to and fro throughout the earth, looking for a heart that is completely his. And I believe what God sees when he sees faith like this, a unique level of faith, it is that uniqueness, that something kind of pops out. So it's like he's looking at five, uh, ten ducks, and nine are white, and one is purple, and he goes, oh, there's the purple one. And there's something about that next level of faith, that uniqueness of faith, that makes even the Son of God, even Jesus, be amazed. It makes even Jesus kind of turn to other people and go, did you see that? Did, did you? I mean, it's like if we're watching an NBA game, and, and we see an amazing dunk or an NFL game, football game, and there's an amazing catch for a touchdown. And we turn to people, you got to watch the replay. Come over here. You missed it. Or did you see that? Can you believe that? Well, what uh, really catches God's attention is a level of faith. I mean, at least in this story, we've got to say it's a level of faith. And then at the end, he says, because you believed, it has happened. You know, the, the challenge is, and man, I, I, I struggle <laughs> with faith. I believe in God, but I struggle with him being for me. I struggle with, you know, he's going to provide. Everything's going to be okay. I just have good days and bad days re related to that. I don't know about you. And the point is, when God sees someone with a unique level of faith, a purple level faith, a purple duck faith, instead of all those white ducks, um, you know, that that massive dunk faith or that big catch in the end zone for a touchdown faith, that gets his attention. He runs over the TV screen and goes, oh, I hope they show the replay. I want to watch this again. And once you catch God's attention, once you catch heaven's attention, then, then you've positioned yourself for a miracle, just like this Roman officer did. So, you know, I think why does, why does faith attract heaven? I think the, the first thing is because that's, you know, just like the, the person who loves watching sports and loves watching the big dunk or the big catch or whatever, that's what attracts them. Big faith attracts God. Big faith attracts God. So be unique. Be the purple duck. Have a big, you know, do a big dunk, you know, big catch in the end zone, whatever it is, however you can relate to it. Take your faith to the next level and know that that's going to be like a lighthouse that attracts God, that attracts heaven. All right. Thanks, guys.